children today we are going to see about two topics WLAN and RFID in this chapter called network examples and protocols this is quite a big chapter okay today we will be seeing about two topics first is WLAN WLAN is nothing but wireless local area network about this you have already studied in standard 11 but again in standard 12 they have given a glimpse of it okay so WLAN stands for wireless local area network that is connecting electronic devices in a small area without wires is called as wireless local area network okay and this is possible using a technology called Wi-Fi the full form for Wi-Fi is wireless fidelity fidelity means connectivity so wireless fidelity okay and the protocol used in this technique is 802.11 okay so let us see the advantages of this WLAN uh, first is it provides mobility mobility means you can take your laptop uh, to your office and bring back to your home you can have uh, mobility of laptops uh, with Wi-Fi okay so you can continue your work wherever you are okay so that it is provide mobility and connectivity to internet okay using Wi-Fi you can connect it to internet you all might be knowing okay how to connect to internet through Wi-Fi I need not tell you or I need not teach you about this next flexibility of LAN it provides all the features of a LAN okay not only computers all electronic devices can be uh, connected using this Wi-Fi and ensures connectivity connectivity means you can connect all electronic devices together in a small local area okay and the last one is low cost and high benefits the cost involved in it is very less okay suppose if you want to have a LAN wired LAN you need to buy wires you need to buy routers so many things it costs so much but Wi-Fi is a small device you can buy it 10,000 or 2,000 so the cost is very less but the benefits are very large very high okay so these are the advantages of WLAN next we'll see about the RFID okay RFID stands for radio frequency identification it you uses RF wireless technology to identify the objects okay the main components involved in this RFID technology are RFID tag a reader and a computer these are the three components involved in a RFID uh, technology I'll show you how an RFID tag will be okay so this is RFID tag okay so this is RFID tag and this one is RFID reader okay and you all know what is a computer okay what uh, this RF technology will do is I, I have shown you the RFID tag no this tag will have a chip inside it small chip inside it which can send and receive signals and this tag will be placed on any object it can be anything for example let us take it as a bus okay this RFID tag can be placed on a bus okay and this reader will have an antenna small antenna to send and receive signals okay so let us place this uh, RFID tag on a bus and this reader on a bus stop okay so what this antenna will do is it will send signals to this tag okay and this uh, object and the tag can be at a distance it cannot be it need not be close to each other can be at far off places also okay so what will happen is the reader will send the signals to the object and identify where the object is okay and get the signals from it and that signals it will send it to a computer and computer will analyze it and do whatever we want okay uh, we have asked the computer to do it okay so this is how we can identify where the objects are exactly this uh, a reader in the st bus stop can identify where the bus is and it can send the signals to a computer or a computer program attached to it okay so that programmer will display uh, that the bus is arriving the bus will arrive in five minutes or ten minutes it is here uh, in this place so get ready passengers like this it can 
give a message on the screen okay so this is called as rfid technology and this rfid is of two types passive rfid and active pass active rfid what this passive rfid means is this i have told you about the tag no and the tag will not have its own power source that is it cannot uh, generate electricity or it, it does not get the current on its own okay it has to get the power only from the reader that kind of rfid is called as passive rfid whereas active active rfid means it will the object tag will have an power source on its own okay so this is called as uh, um, two types of rfid active path active rfid and passive rfid now let us move on to how this works okay uh, this passive rfid the object and the reader cannot be at far off places okay it can be used only in shorter distances okay but this active rfid can be used in longer distances also okay this passive rfid uses inductive method to get the power from the reader okay and it sends the reader will send electromagnetic waves to the object and identify where the object it is okay and then give the signals to the computer this is how the passive rfid works whereas an active rfid will send signals okay i repeat again passive rfid will send electromagnetic waves to identify the object whereas active pass active rfid will send electrical signals okay to identify where the object is got it children this is about rfid technology i hope you would have understood well thank you children